Good morning, Mr. Toastmaster, uh, fellow members and guests. Albert Einstein uh, once said, life is like riding a bicycle. Okay. In order to keep the balance, we have to keep moving. So uh, today is my first speech, and I'm going to share with you three aspects of my life. First, I'm going to start uh, by speaking about my uh, family and my background. Uh, let me start by confessing that <clears throat> when uh, I fairly made it at college, that uh, I uh, never thought of moving to Miami, and that I have a job that some of my friends consider uh, ideal because I work from home in, in boxers. I am from Mexico. Uh, I was born 44 years ago, a long time ago. Of course, I like Chile a lot. <laughs> this is the proof. <laughs> In the meantime, uh, I have been working on the printing business. I have uh, married twice to a different woman. Uh, <laughs> I have two children, and I moved to Miami in, in the year 2000. Uh, let me introduce you my family. This is, this is the father of my children and the husband of my wife. Of course, that guy. I am that guy. Oh. <laughs> uh, this is my daughter, uh, Daniela. She's 18 years old. She's at high school and she lives in Mexico City. Uh, this is my son, Alberto. He's 12 years old. Uh, he lives in Miami. He's in middle school. And this is my wife, Maria Guadalupe. You get it? Jesus, Maria, Guadalupe. <laughs> <laughs> All the rest of our family lives in Mexico City. And uh, one of my more difficult decisions in my life was uh, deciding to move to Miami for many reasons. Uh, but we have to keep moving. Uh, we have to keep the balance in our life. Second, I want to talk about my talents. Uh, I had an idea of what I was good at, but uh, for me it was very difficult to explain uh, how. And uh, I was very glad to hear, to hear uh, Silvana, if you remember, uh, during her icebreak presentation, uh, he, he talked about the Strengths Finder assessment. And uh, I really like it because I did the assessment two years ago. This is the book. And at the very end of the book, there is a, a code, so you can go to the website and do the assessment. Okay, I really recommend that. And uh, this is this is the results of my assessment. These are my top five talents. Uh, my first talent is related because I I feel a great uh, satisfaction working hard with my friends. Uh, to achieve a goal. My second uh, talent is responsibility because I, I really take uh, psychological ownership of what I say I will do. And because I am committed to values such as uh, loyalty and honesty. My third uh, talent is self-assurance because I feel confident in managing my own life. My fourth talent is harmony because I don't enjoy uh, conflict. I, I rather look for a consensus I uh, seek for areas of agreement. And my fifth talent is connectedness because I have faith in the links of uh, all the things. I believe that there is a uh, few uh, casualties and that uh, almost everything has a reason. So this is the full list of my talents. I, uh, I am not gonna go through all the list, but I just wanted to let you know that uh, at the very bottom is communication. So I have hard time putting my thoughts into words. I am not good at conversations. I am not good at presenting, and that's why I am here, to add skills, to add um, knowledge, to practice, because I want to improve my communication. Third, I want to talk about my favorite hobby. <laughs> that comes with my favorite hobby. <laughs> my favorite hobby is, 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 is riding bikes. I love it. Uh, in 2006, oops, 
I'm sorry. In 2006, I, I bought this odometer, so I can keep track of my my speed, my distance, my time. And uh, since then, I can tell you that uh, I have ridden uh, 2,000, more than 28,000 miles. Wow. Um, I have enjoyed every single mile. Uh, for me, riding a bike uh, was not a big deal until I moved to Miami. That was. Uh, ten years ago, then I became addicted to bike, to road, to road bikes, and I really enjoyed the feeling. The feeling right after the, the ride, during the ride, and after the ride. Uh, it's like a, what motivates me is the whole process. It's a constant fight between the mind and the body. The body, the body, at some point starts screaming the the mind, stop, stop. I mean, I cannot do it anymore. And then the mind uh, takes over orders the, the body to keep moving forward. Have you ever felt that uh, uh, feeling uh, extremely thirsty or extremely tired or perhaps uh, out of energy? Uh, the more miserable you feel during the ride, the better the feeling after the ride. Everything, every simple thing is many times better. For instance, drinking water. Uh, having a shower, cold water, uh, laying on the bed, you name it, I mean, drinking coffee, if it is uh, on weekends, having a beer, why not? So it, it is really nice. I spend an average of uh, 10 hours uh, per week on the saddle, and that's a lot of time to think, to plan, to decide. After the work, in the morning, um, it is a, a good opportunity to talk to my friends, and also to relieve my stress. I am part of a club, a Doral Cycling Club, BCC, and uh, riding with my friends it is even better because I can go faster, I can go uh, farther, I can go, I can ride safer. And on top of that, uh, riding with my friends gave me the opportunity to uh, practice uh, conversation. So when I was uh, writing my speech, my connectedness uh, talent started to connect the, the dots between the Toralto's Master Club and the Cycling Club. And then I found similarities. For instance, this is a, a team sport, did much. Uh, with your help, I can uh, improve faster. Uh, I, there is a timer there. This is a safe environment. Uh, I have a role. And the, the feeling, the feeling is pretty much the same because when I was uh, working on my speech, I feel miserable. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I am feeling miserable. <laughs> and I am starting to, to feel relief because I am I'm almost done here. <laughs> so probably, probably my next favorite hobby is uh, those masters. Who knows? <laughs> so uh, in closing, keep moving forward so you can keep the balance in your life and enjoy the ride. <laughs> Thanks, Jesus. He gave a speech that was very well organized and went through all his points in a seriotim manner. <laughs> He enjoyed all 28,383 miles.